Oh, is there a turtle in that terrarium? Ooh, there's a stack of them. There's four of them. Are they priced separately? I don't need them, but do I need this turtle? Do I need this turtle in my life? Interesting. Little glasses. There's different shapes. Like this is a little oval. And this one's a little... Oh my gosh, it reminds me of that toy. The shape sorter. The plastic shape sorter that we always use to put the little, the little shapes into. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? So I guess when you become an adult then, uh, you drink out of something that brings you that memory back. Yeah, good, good concept. Goodwill and it is the very first time they have done the senior discount on a Wednesday so we're gonna get in here and see what goodies are left on the shelf for us tonight so uh, let's get shop done all right let's jump into the goodies there still might be some things here that uh, were a little more than I wanted to spend the first time I was here but now could be priced just right that's the things we're looking for as well as some of the new stuff they've put out. Those are cute. I don't feel like they're as old as they appear to be though. Ooh, you know I love that color. I love that color a whole, whole lot. I feel like I can use that to put something in. Ooh, maybe I can put Bougie's little pistachios in there. 99 cents which makes it 40% uh, off of that. So it's only gonna cost me 60 cents. I'm gonna grab it. Pretty little crystal piece. I always kind of have to pick up and look at and see if there's a mark on the bottom of some of these nicer crystal pieces. That one is not marked. I'm not sure what those are for. Oh, is there a turtle in that terrarium? Look what I found. <laughs> I found a turtle. He's up, He's upside down though, which is not good. We don't want turtles upside down. Turtles upside down is not a good thing. He's just a funny little guy. It's a, whoa. It's a pretty little terrarium actually. Oh, he's got a cute little face. It's, um, looks like it's seven. Jeez, I'm just popping stuff all over the place. It is of course, that is minus my 40%. I know you guys get sick of me saying that, but uh, I have to remind myself too what a great price it is. So I'm grabbing him. See, look, you can have your own spot there now, piggy bank. Let's move everybody over. Cause I'm, well, I was gonna look at that, but I wanted to look at this bowl back here. It looks like it might be signed. You see what I see? Of course we have to lift this up. I always try to lift it on the non uh, QR code side because that way it still scans. I don't think that was. I think I was seeing I was seeing things. I was seeing things. So we'll put that back on there. Whoop! Having a little like, am I just not seeing the shelf right? Like, I feel like the shelf's there, and then I go there, and it's not there. And foil backsplash wall sticker. It's kind of fun. What would I do with it? I don't know, but I feel like I have to have it. All right, do you ever do that? You see something and you go, oh, I just know I could do something with that. I don't know. I don't know what that thing is right at the moment, but I, but I know, I know it's got a purpose in my life. So yeah, I, I shop that way sometimes. I see. He's cute, but he's kind of a cheaper little piece. Hmm, I like the shape of that. It does have a chip though, which is leaning me towards not getting it. I think it's a more contemporary piece, but I just, I like the color and I like the shape. Had to give it a deeper look. Oh, I think I saw this guy the other night, did I? He comes from Ross. He's not like a super exciting piece. And I think like the $5 was not enticing to me but I kind of like it at 40% uh, off of that which would make it three dollars 
Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be even pickier than than normal, and I'm gonna leave that one tonight. These are not marked. I'm doing it again. I'm knocking into things. I mean, there's a bunch of them, but again, nothing super spectacular. Cute little fish. I am bummed I wasn't able to get that lion fish. I don't know if you watched the, when I did the VIP tour, if you go back and that's a blue sky. Um, it's just a single though. Hmm, I'm gonna leave you. Um, if you go back and watch the VIP behind the scene tour and the shelves, there was there was some things that I was really hoping were gonna be here and they weren't. And there was this magnificent, a magnificent lionfish that uh, I did not end up with. Look at this Thomas Kincaid little scene. I know a lot of Thomas Kincaid stuff is like pretty, ooh, that's overwhelmed. Um, it's pretty uh, mass marketed and not worth a whole lot, but there are some things that still have value. How about a little doggy creamer? $3, which means he would be $1.80 for me, thereabouts. He's a home essentials. He's, you know, he's, He's a more modern piece, but I have a lot of dog lovers in my live sales and my whatnot sales, so I think I'll pick him up. Look at this beauty. Not a very nicely made cookie jar, but she's beautiful. And then next to it are these bird coasters. They're made by Interpure, made in Taiwan. They are vintage. $7.99 on that one. I'm going to assume $7.99 on that one. Uh, these are definitely coming home with me. Well, because they have birds. Aw, his day, as I'm filming this, is tomorrow. Noah's cooking a turkey. Noah is going to make our Thanksgiving dinner. We just got a little turkey, because it's just the three of us. So we just got this little, little baby turkey. This is Verona. It's very heavy, very nice. Um, what is that like uh the Parthenon or something? I don't know. I don't I don't know my uh my Roman buildings too much. I know those are columns and I know this is like a bronze and I know that the price would be right at like uh let's see, seven times six is four, so it'd be for like four bucks, four twenty. I think I'll grab it. Oh, I can't even tell you how nice it is to shop here without it being jam-packed with people. Okay, that's just interesting with a bull and a bear. A bull and a bear. Does that signify something? Should I know what this is about? It's in like a acrylic. They look pewter. And it's only 99 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and get that and figure out what it's all about. Ooh, there's a stack of them. There's four of them. Are they priced separately? They are. Each one is $2.99. I'm not sure they're worth that much to me. Even with the 40% off, that still makes them $1.80 each. Yeah. I think I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm gonna pass on those for now. They're cute. I like them. What is this? To everything, there is a season, a time for every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. It says it's from Ecclesiastes. I don't remember that verse that says there's a time to kill. Is it really? Is it really? Does it, 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 is it particular on who? Because you know, I there are some people that could be on that list. No, no, I can't even let my brain go there. That's horrible. Oh, the little little rose is still here. Oh, look at that little nativity. Who makes you all oh, to Kathy? Merry Christmas, 2011. Love Misty. Yeah, apparently Kathy uh, was not too enamored by her uh, little nativity scene there because it's now at Goodwill. 
What's in here? Oh, open, open, open. Oh, little crystal angels. Well, look at those. They're little spun glass angels in a box. Now, I wouldn't pay $8 for these, uh, but I will pay $5 for these-ish. So I think I'm going to pick those up. I see the cute little owls. Oh, he's a, he's a leaning, he's a leaning owl. These are not that, they're not a nice material. They're a very like cheap material. It's hard to explain. If you had your hand on it, you'd know what I was talking about. That is a Mikasa basket. They priced that one red tagged at $14.99. Now red tags on their sale um, colors, sale days, sale everything. Do not get a discount unless it's a red tag sale. So I tend to pass those things by unless they're super extra special. And that, I don't understand quite what that is. This is a shade, it looks like, off of something. Oh, uh, why do I like those so much? I mean, I just really, really like the sparkles on those. They were $16.99 somewhere, and now they're $12.99, which, yeah, if I really, really wanted them, I'd probably just go find them for the $16.99, because I don't need them right now. I mean, those are, look at the bling. Ooh, see, it's sparkle. I'm gonna leave that one. Just don't, just don't need it. What is that? What is, I don't know. I don't know what he is. This, I do believe, is a princess house piece. A depth. Look at it, it looks like a sea turtle if you put it that way. I just have turtles on the brain. Ooh, I see something I might be able to use for the store. Let me, uh, let me get down here and see what we got. We've got these glass trays and they are, they're mirrored, mirrored and beveled and it's $7.99 for a stack of three of them. Those are fantastic for the store. I'm gonna grab them. What does this say? Love, happiness, laughter, life who makes you do you have a name you do not have a name but you know what i got a better spot for you over here now where everybody can see you as i look what's underneath there nope that was nothing exciting all right let's keep a moving on i know you're saying are you going to pass by that piece of pottery right there that kind of has some writing on the bottom Four one seven. It's just that's it's just like an import mark. As I get my hands on it, it's um, it's a candle holder, and it's not very good quality. That one can stay. Again, here's a smaller one. So I suspect these came from like Home Goods or something like that. Just decorative pieces. I see the silver fade glasses as I'm crouched down here. Not to be confused with silver band. Silver fade. Silver band. Dorothy Thorpe is known for the silver band. Um, they are mid-century and they're cool, but I just don't need those right now. Don't, oh, gosh darn it. Then there's, now six is more enticing than three. It just is. So it'd be $6 for a set of six. You know what? I guess I'll grab those. All right, let's see what else the little glass shelves are hiding. Where are you? Not sure. Not sure what that is. And... Oh, you're an egg timer in the shape of an egg. That's kind of adorable, except for the fact that how would you... It's got to sit in something because It'd be kind of hard to time your egg if, if the egg was just laying on its back. So, something amiss there. All right. I see nothing else I must pull from this shelf. We've got baggies of Christmas ornaments. I'm really learning how to do the buyer's choice thing over on Whatnot. And it's becoming more and more enticing 
to do, again, can you guys hear? Can you hear that there is something being tested? Now it's not, it's not a vacuum. Hold on, oh wait, I was gonna flip it around. It's, it's not a vacuum this time. I believe it's safe. All oh, yeah, it is a little, it's a blow dryer. It's a blow dryer, okay. <laughs> it is a blow dryer being tested. Okay, I see some trees. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, I was talking about doing choice lots on on uh, whatnot. I'm having a lot of fun with that. I really like the little trees, the little bottle brush trees in here. This whole bag is only $1.99. I'm going to grab those. Have you noticed how easily I am distracted? I mean, that's me. Like, if, if you hung out with me, you would know that's just really... It's, it's who I am. Oh, they're testing it some more. Isn't that fantastic? How long do you have to test a, uh, a blow dryer? I am super bummed that this little guy is broken. There was only one in there, so I probably wouldn't have bought it, but I still don't like to see things broken and unusable anymore. I can find some birdies that aren't broken. That would be fun. I do an all bird tree. I think we're going to try to get our tree up early. I'm going to be working in my garage tomorrow. Um, you know, there's only so much turkey eating you can do, so. Yes, we'll cook, we'll have a little turkey, but then, you know, I gotta, I gotta do stuff. So I'm probably gonna sort out and get out all of my Christmas stuff, which means we could, we could technically get our tree up this weekend. Feathers. Not in very good shape. Put that back on there. Now they're cleaning the floors. That's the next noise you'll hear. I just can't win. Oh, she got my sparkly candles. Well, that's a cutie. It's probably got a name under there. Oh, just FMC. FMC. I don't know who FMC is. Holiday mugs just don't do a lot for me. That's not the kind of mugs that I like to pick up. I mean, holiday dishes, to me, it's like, okay, you're going to use it for, like, such a short time. I don't know. I just can't get behind it. I just can't. Zach. Zach designs. It's pretty and all, but it's like, okay, you bring it out, you use it a couple times, and then you put it away for a year. I don't know. I just, it's, it's not my thing. It's not my thing at all. Oh, Vikings, how are they doing? All I hear about is the bills that, you know, my life, my life is uh, involved with learning how the bills are doing. That one's Vikings too. Pretty pink Vikings. Does that mean the Vikings are out of it? Or that means that they, they dud it out and the fans got rid of their ornaments saying, nope, we ain't doing no decorating for the Vikings this year. Pretty little wood piece oh i guess it hangs on well what's why is it it's off center that would just bother me got a terracotta tj max nativity don't don't need that i've got so many nativities i just might sell some of my nativities this year now that i have the store there's a strong possibility that i might offer some of my nativities down at the new store that's really cute. 1998, hand painted. 599. Christmas opens our heart to love. I kind of do have a thing for gingerbread men. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Gingerbread and snowmen. That, that's kind of my jam around Christmas time. What is that? Oh, a treat bag. Well, Mikey Bags of Money, look, they've got Christmas cards with your doggy on it, right down here on the shelf. All right, I don't see anything too spectacular. Oh, except maybe these. Look at these little baby glass trees. They came from the dollar store. 
Well, you know, and there, look at that. That is fantastic. They priced them at 69 cents. Good on you, Goodwill. That's, that's how it should be done. And you know what? Those are just adorable enough that I'm going to pick up all three of them. All right, let me give this shelf one last once over. Make sure I'm not leaving something behind that I must have. Nope. I think we're good. All things are possible if you believe. That is so true. I'm kind of living proof. I'm living proof. Just don't quit. Don't give up. Stay true to your dream. Keep at it. You will get things thrown at you. Frustrations. You'll feel like you want to give up. But don't give up. Don't give up. It's, uh, it's all there waiting for you. Ooh, this guy's still here. I, it was kind of intriguing the other night. Oh, he's red tag, $14.99. I just, yeah, I should probably research that and figure out if it's worth popping it. $14.99. It just might be. I guess it just doesn't, you know, some things super excite me and I don't mind buying them and then finding out and then other things are like, yeah, I could take it or leave it. It's not, it's not enticing enough to uh, dig too deep. It's time. You know, I value time more than anything. <laughs> time, time, time. Because time means time with my kids, time with my family and friends. So, Anything that takes my time that is not super important, I, it's just just a waste to me. Just a waste. Oh, goodness. The um, wood and metal are not, uh, not uh, resulting in too many things getting into the cart this time. I did look at these the other night, too. I still don't know what I would do with them. I like them. I do like them. Just, I, I mean, they got, I just, no, no, I don't, I don't need them. But do I need this turtle? Do I need this turtle in my life? He's kind of broken. I feel like I don't. I really feel like I don't need that turtle. But did he have friends? Did I see friends under here? No, I did. thought maybe there was a set. It's all good. Somebody will love that turtle. I know they will. Let's see. Lots of kind of housewares type stuff. Cool metal basket. I do like these. Just don't know what I would do with it. Some wire shelves. I remember when Noah was all into those and I had to get them for him and then he grew to the point where he's like, nah, I don't want those anymore. I have so much stuff I'm personally donating down at the store. Let me tell you, so much stuff. We are doing a house clean out before our next move. Let me tell you. Who makes you? Farberware. Are you vintage? Are you vintage Farberware? Kind of has a vintage look, doesn't it? It's got that cool kind of coffee pot with a little percolator thing on top. I don't know. That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to get it for $3.99 minus 40%. We've got a little 3D lamb. Little cake. Little cake guy. He's even got his little recipe and directions. I don't think those bring too much. No. I used to pick them up. Let's see, one last shelf of the metal stuff. Cute little copper basket. But nope, nothing that needs to jump in the cart. We are in the vases looking for something cool, exciting. Thomas O'Brien, vintage modern Thomas O'Brien. It feels really quality. This piece feels nice and it would only be a dollar nineteen. So I think I'm gonna grab Thomas O'Brien. You know, for a buck, I can take a chance. You can almost always get a buck back out of something. I have this set. 
in a teal green. And here it is in purple. Interesting. There's a pretty little pot down here. It's made in China. It's nothing, nothing super fab except for the color. See what we got in the blues and the browns. Let me know if you like the color blocking. Are you a fan when stores color block? Tell me down in the comments because I'm really thinking of color blocking the shelves of my store versus like, you know, just like putting all of one type of thing somewhere, but kind of just making it shop by color. Tell me if you think that would be an enjoyable way to shop. It would be very, very easy then for like my volunteers who help stock the shelves and stuff to figure out where to put stuff. They would just have to look at the color. Let's see. Wow, that's, it was all tied together and now it's coming all, I'm just looking at kind of like these. I do like those. I think they're vintage because they were only a dollar or nine somewhere. Silk Vision. Huh. Huh. I do want to get back to my flower arranging. Maybe, maybe with the new store, I might actually be able to do that. I could set up a little area. The thing is, if I do it at home, I feel like I have to clean up when I'm done. So if I don't finish an arrangement, if I don't finish a project, then I think I'm feeling bad because I don't know when I'm going to get back to it. But, you know, down at the store, I can just have a little area that just stays like, you know, like working a puzzle. I can just keep it up and running until I have time to work on it until I get one done. All right. Hopping through the plastics real quick. <laughs> I picked up some mel melamine plates the other day that were worth quite a bit of money. There's the, um, the Sacred Heart. Jesus. Jesus on a melamine plate. Go figure. I'm not seeing too much. Ballpoint pens? Ugh. Are they red? They're red. Don't need red. Need black. Although, we might be able to use some red pens. I mean, red... Nah, don't need them. Don't need them. I'm going to leave them. I am going to leave them. I thought about it. I do like saving money on office supplies. But, no, nope, I'll leave those for somebody else. Boy, there is a lot of glass here. Lots of wine glasses. Lots and lots. Lots of choices. There's probably some vintage ones here. I'm just not really into dealing with that right now. But I am going to grab this little Disarano glass because my movers broke one. So I have an uneven amount. So now I can replace it at only 99 cents plus my discount. But now I have a dilemma because there's two. Darn it. I still need to find one more now. Okay. Well, now I have a pair. Let's see. I do like this glass. Look at the etch in that. I just wish there was two. But there's just one. Just one. There's my little uh, cactus glasses. I'm not picking any of those up right now either. Oh, is that another one? No, it's different. All right. I was hoping. Let's see. I did find those mid-century glasses the other day mixed in here, which was pretty cool. These are interesting. Interesting little glasses. There's different shapes. Like this is a little oval. And this one's a little... Oh my gosh, it reminds me of that toy. The shape sorter, the plastic shape sorter that we always use to put the little... The little shapes into doesn't it doesn't it so i guess when you become an adult then uh you drink out of something that brings you that memory back yeah good good concept all right one last 
shelf full of glasses. But I don't see anything calling me. All right, we will peek at the mugs, see what comes up. Like these really interesting kind of mid-century looking cups. Yeah. No, not super exciting. I'm just trying to figure out the pricing because they're individually priced, but yet they're taped together. You know, I don't know. Ooh, sea turtle with a big chip. Oh, darn it. See, I would have bought that. I would have bought that for my viewers in my live sales who like turtles too. I would have sold him if he didn't have a big fat chip. Big fat chip, no good. Nothing's really calling out to me. <laughs> this Mickey's been through the dishwasher a couple of times, unfortunately. All right, I think we are done in the glasses. This right here just looks like a nightmare. I I'll take a tested vacuum any day over a room full of kazoo players. Oh goodness, it's still here. Okay, was it red tagged or was it regular tagged? Oh, it's regular tagged. That means it's 40% off of that $24.99. Okay, that, that to me is too tempting. I have to grab it. It is cordon bleu. If you missed my video there, it's a cordon bleu. Uh, it's their seafood bowls and platter. I'm grabbing it. This is why you come back. This is why you come back on discount day. Because many, many times the items you wanted are still going to be here. At least that works out really well for me, usually. And that's kind of how the whole pricing system works. I mean, that's, that's why it does work so good for them. Because it's here. It's at a good discount for seniors on senior day. It goes down to 50% at some point. That has a big chip, that Temptations. It goes down to 50% and ultimately, if it doesn't sell, it's going to be a dollar, a dollar, one dollar to clear it. And then if it doesn't sell, then they're gonna send it over to the, the clearance center, the Goodwill bins as we call them. And then it's gonna be sold by the pound. So, I mean, in actuality, they have a really, really good system going for clearing things even if they overprice it. Just looking at these pretty blue glass plates. But uh, they don't feel very quality. I don't, you know, I don't think there's some like fire and light or anything. They are, actually they are marked. They're, oh my goodness. They now, they're, they're marked. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Ofetre Murano. <laughs> I guess I gotta look them up now. Goodness gracious, they're only $4.99. Uh, stand by. All right, well, these were calling me and I was trying, I was really trying not to like them, but they sell for about $30 each. So uh, there's a stack of one, two, three, four, five. There's six of them here for five bucks uh, and I get 40% off. So apparently I'm buying some plates. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I got plates. Yes, I do. And that makes me dig deeper now because like, ooh, there's some quality stuff in here. So let's just see what other quality stuff is in here now. We got cups and saucers. We've got nice little blue pottery vase, some plates. Okay, I think that is probably going to be the extent of it. These shelves are so dangerous for me here. Cracker Barrel, little Cracker Barrel chickens for $3.99. So I could get these for less than a buck a piece. And I feel like, I feel like I could give those away, like in one of my whatnot sales. Oh, he's got a chip though. But that's not a total deal breaker because there's two more. And the other two don't appear to have a chip or damage. So the price is still right. All right, I'm picking up some chickens. It looks like clay art, but it's not marked clay art. It's a pretty 
bowl by Meyer. Newer stuff, newer stuff. Those look like they might have a little age on them. I don't know who makes those. Those are really, oh, they're, oh, they're mugs. They're like soup mugs. They're cute. I like them. But I'm going to leave them. Nothing. Nothing exciting. Oh my gosh, though. Did you see the bronze beaver sculpture? Now, mind you, people had been shopping the store all day. Now, And I know that that beaver sculpture was here. Grand opening night. So it's not like it just came out right before I got here. That beaver sculpture was still on the shelf and its value is hundreds of dollars hundreds of dollars and I know there was lots of resellers here but you guys you you can't pass by stuff like that I mean you can you can leave it for me but it, it just goes to show it does not matter who is in the store before you there is always going to be a treasure that you can scoop up that they will have left behind why am i attracted to like these coffee pots right now i don't know what am i doing i'm not i don't even drink coffee i'm not a coffee pot kind of person ice cream molds oh yeah interesting ice cream molds zoo animal ice cream molds hmm so what do you do i'm trying to figure out how do you what do you do do you just put regular ice cream in there and mold it like how do you how, how do you use an ice cream mold somebody enlighten me because i do seriously do not know concealer yeah i really yeah what do you use i i'm i'm gonna call myself out and being a little ignorant on that one right now so i just don't know i just don't know all right we don't do the use tumblers and we're just going to take a quick little jaunt down the uh, cookware. Wow, that looks like brand new, that uh, cooker down there. $34.99. That does not seem like a bad price for a brand new appliance like that. I do like the way they're pricing here. I do like it. Candy dispenser. Ooh, that looks fun. Look at all these office supplies. Holy moly, there's a there's a lot of office supplies there. It's an R in a horseshoe and it's nice leather. Oh, it's a photo album. Goodness, goodness. So many office supplies. We're pretty set. We're, we got our office supplies. We're we're good on our office supply stuff under here oh an elevated toilet seat I'm pretty sure I don't need that but somebody will somebody somebody is gonna need that oh wow let's see lots of crafty stuff I don't have a ton of time tonight so I'm kind of whizzing right through the crafty stuff unless something like really like jumps out at me but nothing's really jumping out of me. I did not really spend a lot of time going through the mishy mashy section the other night. It was super duper crowded. Uh, so I kind of I kind of skipped this aisle. Oh these are those little um like bent box you put snacky poos in there. Umbrellas. Where's Noah? Noah will be asking me if I needed an umbrella. And I would say, nope, no, I do not need an umbrella. I do like these. Hmm, do I have a place for that in my kitchen? I don't. I don't right now. I must leave it. All right. I just pulled this off the top shelf. It is a king size flannel Pendleton sheet set. Seems to be brand new in the package. Now, um, 
they don't have it priced so I'm going to have to uh, see how we do when we get up to the counter but I think that's a pretty good find if we get it for the right price oh let's see anything else in the mishy mashies I don't think so I don't think so they have really sold a lot of furniture you know, and seeing this too, it makes me think this might not be a bad idea to build something like this to lift up and put like the smaller pieces of furniture and stuff. It's not a bad idea because then you can still put like stuff under the under the bottom here. These tables are kind of nice. 80 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. I don't want to, I'm, I'm too cheap to pay 80 bucks, but not bad. We'll do a skim through the pillows. See what we got. These look like outdoor. No, I think these fooled me before. Like they look like outdoor, but they don't feel like outdoor. They're kind of thin and and uh, a little on the flimsy side. I do I do love the color and I love the sea turtle on that one. And this one, oh no, it's got me. It's whales. It's whales and sea turtle. Yep, yep, I must have them. All right, let's take a quick peek through the art. Nothing too deep, nothing too serious, uh, because I, I don't want to find, I don't, I don't, I don't want to find any art. I have so much art that I have to still like get priced and hung up and but uh, if something really really called to me you know I'd grab it. But it looks like looks like I'm gonna be safe tonight. I don't see anything super exciting. Yay! Quick peek through the lamps. There is nothing super spectacular. That one kind of caught my eye. It's a newer plug though. Oof! Thank goodness. Yeah, it's it's kind of vintage inspired, but I do not. It doesn't look like it's been rewired. All the hardware looks new, so I think we're safe on that one. And then they still got like a whole wall of electronics. I don't, I don't really shop those. All right, our last stop is the purse section. It's a cute little uh, Dickies backpack. Five ninety nine, and it is senior day. I don't know what that goes for, but it's awful cute, and I know that I, at the very least, will get my money back. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one. Right behind it was this really cool Vegas tote. Oh, it's double-sided too. It's kind of nice, what are you? $12.99 though. Are you worth $12.99 to me? I'm not, I'm not sure you are. I'm not sure. Let's see, that, so that would be six, seven, so it'd be like eight bucks. Yeah, that one, that one I'm not quite as sure about. Not quite as sure. Is that koala? This koala brand? Hmm. Little kids backpack. I guess I'm in the backpacks and not the, even the purses yet, which is okay because I like backpacks. <gasps> what is that? It's like little kitty something. PVC. OMG accessories. Hmm, something tells me that's kind of a, kind of a cheapy brand. So we're going to leave it. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, that's kind of cute. Look at these little shopping girls here. Let's look, let's get a closer look. If I can, oh, we're tangled. Oh, one handed untangling of the purses. Oh, can we do it? Oh. Get through there. Oh, we did it. Yay. Look at this. $5.99. Do you have a name? Do you have a name inside? Does somebody make you or are you just cute? I mean, we'll buy you on cuteness. I think we'll buy you on cuteness because you're just, you're just cute. Again, they have the color blocking going and I'm trying to kind of look at it and go, am I, am I a fan? Do I really like the color blocking? I mean, I think I kind of do. I think I, I like, I like the vibe. I like the feel of the uh, color blocking. That's cute. That's all cloth. But it's 
pretty faded on the bottom. Well, I think that's it for my shopping trip tonight. I am getting tired and uh, want to head home. So I'm going to check out, but stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay. That's coming up right now. giving me this for $19.99. Let's see. Make the magic happen. Cut them up. One, Look at that. Down to one eleven seventy. One eighty nine dollars something. Oh, wow. That yeah. was good. I love it. Go, girl. I love being old. Well, that was another fantastic trip to Goodwill. I really love the store. I wish it was a little closer to my house. It is a 35 minute drive down here. At least it was tonight. I think it's probably if I don't come when there's traffic, I could probably get here in like maybe 25 minutes. But it's a hike. It's a hike from my house. But it's totally worth it. I know I'm going to find amazing things every time I come here. So, yeah. All right. I'm, oh, what am I doing with my camera? I am heading home to my kidlets. It's been a long, it's been a long week, even though it's only three days long. Um, it's been a long week. <laughs> so with that, I hope everyone, and by the time you watch this, Thanksgiving's over, but I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving and spent it with family, friends, and just spent the day reflecting on all the things you have to be grateful for. I know I will, and I do. Uh, so with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.